What's up everyone, welcome to another episode of AI Buzz. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm coming at you with a much different editing style for these project videos. These are hopefully gonna make the project a lot more interesting and exciting to watch. You guys don't wanna see literally the entire process. You want the highlights, you want the exciting parts and kind of an overview of what's going on. You don't need to know all these intermediate steps. So I think this new editing style is gonna make these videos a lot more exciting. That being said, let me know down below what you like and what you do not like about these videos. This feedback will help me to continue to improve them. Let's see where we're at right now with Sizzle. So just a quick recap of where we are right now. We have our web server set up. We have three sample articles here. We have the thumbnail stored in S3. We have the title pulled in through Amazon Redshift. And these are now clickable. So if I go ahead and click on one, we will pull in the article information from Redshift that includes the title, the date, the author, as well as uh, content, which is stored in S3 as an HTML file. All right, so now I'm gonna do some general cleanup of the code. <laughs> One of the things I did really wanna do with this project was make it purely Amazon based so that everything's deployed out on Amazon. And that will include getting an EC2 to actually host this. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So first I'm gonna install a couple command line tools for AWS Elastic Beanstalk. I need to first install the Elastic Beanstalk CLI commands. And in order to do that, I apparently need to install Homebrew first. All right, Homebrew installation was successful. So I'm trying to think right now, do I want to install this on an EC2? Or do I want to install it on something like Kubernetes, manage Kubernetes, which Amazon also has a product for. <laughs> um, and you can put a bunch of different pods out there. So you can have microservices that enter pods, they're part of containers. And um, then we could scale this thing up quite nicely. We can have, have a different pod for each microservice that I plan to make. And yeah, I think that could be pretty cool. All right, so I decided to go for the cluster creation route. Now, this is going to be a heck of a lot more complicated than it otherwise would be, but might as well start off doing it this way if that's how we're gonna be doing it down the road. Wow, so the cluster is still creating that I tried to set up. It seems like it takes quite a while, but let me walk you through the architecture of how I want this thing when we're all done. So here's my architecture so far. Um, right now, I'm just gonna have one container that encompasses this, this blog that we essentially created that's going to document each of our projects. But what I'm envisioning is separate containers for each of the different services that I'm gonna make. So this one, hopefully I'll get to this next time, is going to be our uh, suggested news service. So something I've worked on a little bit in the past that I wanna put out into this container. It's going to run a job that's going to pull in news stories, do natural language processing on them, and then extract out keywords and suggest it to different people. This is just the start of what I'm envisioning for this Sizzle application. It's hopefully gonna be quite an adventure through uh, all the different backend services that I'm, I'm looking at here um, and have a lot of really cool things and ideas for it. If you have any thoughts on what I should try to build into this, I'm thinking API, I'm thinking all kinds of machine learning functionality built right into it. Let me know in the comments section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it and it might even make it into one of these videos. Okay, so our cluster has been created. Let's check it out. So here we have the Sizzle cluster. 
And in the configuration part of this service, we have places where we can configure how many nodes we want. So we're not gonna scale out to too many yet. And we wanna keep those small. We wanna keep each container very small. <laughs> uh, Cause especially if I have, you know, eight or 10 services running on this thing, I don't wanna be racking up a massive bill every month. We have our Kubernetes cluster booted up into Amazon. And next time we are going to look at deploying our blog that we worked on today over to one container that will be one of many containers out on this cluster. This is going to serve as a documentation portal for all the other projects I'm gonna be working on within the cluster. So stay tuned for that. Have a good day, bye.